It's because I realized as I was doing the edit that I had not shot an intro. So I basically yesterday cut down a box with my ZDP-189 Spyderco. And within a very short period of time of starting, I'm trying to get a spot where we're not gonna get a strobe effect from this. I don't want anybody having a epileptic fit. Um, at any rate, I shot, now a helicopter comes. Um, I shot video of me shart, uh, cutting that box down. Um, I actually did cut some wood and saw some significant damage to the edge of this knife. But we're gonna keep, we're gonna revisit this. I'm gonna keep doing stuff, resharpen it, and we'll see if, just over the, the, the long term, if that knife, if there's an issue with just at the edge. I would assume that as many times as I've sharpened that knife now that they would have been into clean steel if it was an issue of just at the edge heat. Uh, but, you know, we'll look at it. But I'm not real impressed with Spyderco's ZDP-189. Not ZDP-189 in general. ZDP-189 on a Spyderco Endura. I just, I just don't think that they got it right when they heat treated it. Is that would be my initial thoughts. But with everything else being uh, as it is, um, I'll say let's just go ahead and get into it. You can see me cutting down the box. Um, turn down the volume because here comes the music. This is going to be an ongoing chronicle of this. Um, you guys remember my ZDP-189 Spyderco? Um, I was telling you I was having problems with it. And I said I changed my edge angle and stuff like that. And I've been talking with uh, Outpost 76, I think it was. He was having an issue with his ZDP. He said something about zinc in it. I really don't think that the amount of zinc that he was showing would be an issue when he had it tested. But what I'm noticing is that I'm having the same problem. I just resharpened this. I cut down one super thin walled box. Like I'm not even talking like tri wall. Like we're talking just like like beer box. Like when you get a, a case of beer, like that type of material. And I just in that I noticed an edge roll and and damage at the apex. And I was like, this can't this can't be right. This is CDP 189. It's what Rocksteads are made out of. So I have an Amazon box. I'm gonna turn the camera on. I just resharpened this. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to see if I can get a, a look at, like, zoom in on the edge. Because even just doing that one cardboard box, that thin-walled cardboard box, I already had issues. So what we'll do is a one single cut. I'm going to cut up some cardboard. I'm going to take it out. It's trash day anyway. Um, Amazon package for a new light bulb for the, for the old school light here in the kitchen came. So I'm going to cut that box up, and we're going to see how this edge. And I'm just going to look at it right before. Um, I would do the cutting up on screen and I'll bring it right back and we'll take a look at the edge. This is nothing scientific. I just want to see if, like, am I really seeing this or maybe there was something wrong with the edge before. So we'll look at this nice, clean, crispy edge I just did on aluminum oxide and got it. It's nice and sharp. It's screaming sharp. But let's see how it holds that edge in a minute. Because there's the stuff we're going to cut up and it's not much. So let's zoom in. Let's see if I can get a look. So... I mean, like the damage that I was seeing on the edge was very obvious. It was in this area right here. It was very obvious to the naked eye. Didn't even have to use my microscope. Let's see if it happens again. I just resharpened this to right about a thousand grit. Yeah, I know I got dirt and grunt, gunk all over my finger, underneath my fingernails, but that's because I just was sharpening. So I'm not seeing any obvious edge damage. There might be some schmutz on the blade itself, but I'm not seeing any edge damage. I did touch it on a ceramic rod, so it may have a little bit of a micro bevel at the moment, but let's see if it holds, because the area that I had was right there. It was just, it looked like it was chipping, like the edge was just coming off, peeling off. So, not gonna do a jump cut, not gonna, f just single shot, let's start cutting this up. So this is a, I may speed this up in post. Don't know if I'm even in frame while I'm cutting. I would imagine I, I kind of am. It's a 
a piece of on this and I have to clean the adhesive off. Rub it a little bit. We're cutting into some tape, but I don't want to stop. Already, I'm starting to, to feel that it just is not quite cutting the way I want it to, but we're going to keep going and see. It still feels sharp, but we'll see. I just want to see if, if maybe I, it was an anomaly. I'm pretty sure that that was a fresh, crispy edge that I had just put on this knife. Um, yeah, let's... Follow me around and we'll go get some a rag with some WD-40 to have on hand to wipe that adhesive off while we're doing this. I'm gonna do it all in one jump cut. That way no one can say I'm like, oh, he just wants to, to bash the steel. Where's my WD-40? There it is. So I'll get a get us a rag. Oh, just a tissue with some WD-40. Back in frame. Let's see here. Let's wipe this down a little bit. I'm not noticing. What I, was, I may have hit something. It's a possibility that I may hit something. But I do have a 2 by 4 out there that I'm going to cut on too. So let's see. But guys, I honestly had done no real aggressive cutting. But it could have, there could have been something wrong with the edge. Yeah, I'm not feeling it now. It does not feel quite as sharp as it did, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's uh, chipping and coming apart like it did when I did the other one. This was along the lines of the material I was cutting before. Uh, like a, almost like I said, what you get in a, if you bought a case of beer or something like that, one of those. Yeah, it seems to be cutting okay. It may have just been a flaw that was in the edge, but I'm still not happy with this metal, with this material. It's not exactly the material I would want, I don't think, for a lot of applications. So guys, there's a reason that I rewatch my videos several times during the edit process. I didn't notice it before, but if you're watching the video right now, if you look at the cardboard, roll back just a few seconds, and you can see that that knife was actually just tearing that cardboard, that thin cardboard. It, this is when I started to notice that it was getting dull. It was right about this time that I just am jumping in. And you can see, I didn't notice it when I was doing the actual cutting, but when I did the video edit, I did definitely notice that along that edge, you could see it was just piling up, like ripping the cardboard instead of cutting it. I, it should not have went that dull that quick, but it definitely did. So take, take it, like I said, roll back like 10 seconds and take a good look at that cardboard. And you can see where it was just ripped along that, that cutting edge. More adhesive on this blade. Maybe it'll take some of the corrosion off. Let's get some more oil on here clean up that very edge and see because I'm starting to feel as though it does not want to cut the way it was before. That edge is definitely not as frighteningly sharp as it was. It's still sharp, don't get me wrong, but it, like I said, this is one of those materials like this steel, when I was using it, it would keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, and then all of a sudden it would just stop. And I can definitely feel it is not just screaming through this cardboard like it was. So. Yeah, it's, you can see it's trying to rip. Yeah, it's not even, see, all of a sudden just stop cutting. Just stop cutting and it's just tearing. Yep. And it just does not even feel sharp. That's not even feel sharp at all. From a steel that is touted for its abilities, I'm not really seeing it in this. That's not sharp at all anymore. It just went, like it goes, I'm sharp, I'm sharp, I'm sharp. Nope, I'm done. I'm not seeing any obvious damage to the edge though. Yeah, I am. 
See it? That's exactly what I was seeing before. That entire apex is wrecked. Look at it. You guys see? See what I'm seeing? Right there. Look at all that edge damage. Let's wipe it off and just make sure I'm not just seeing remnants of cardboard and things like that, but. that apex is just pretty well this is gonna just be Let's see yeah I'm definitely seeing damage on that edge can you see it let's keep going let's cut some more we'll cut some more of this up Yeah, there's still adhesive and stuff on here, but like that should not be zoomed back out. Oh, it's getting. Yeah, see? It's just starting to, to just catch and rip. Let's keep, keep, let's try and keep the, I'll try and keep the edge clean, try and keep adhesive off of it so I'm not getting any accidental stoppages and tearing because the edge has got adhesive on it. So let's, oh wow. Yeah, that doesn't feel sharp at all. It's still sharp up here. But that doesn't feel sharp at all right there. Let's keep going. See? It's ripping. And it's not like I was in an area of the blade where I was getting down into the choil or anything. See how it's just, she's starting just to bind up and not want to cut. Yeah. Yeah, watch. Look at that. I found a sharp spot to start. That's that's the difference. Look at that. And the areas that I had, look at the areas when I where I have cut. You can see it just wanting to rip the until it finds a sharp spot. It just wants to rip the material. So yeah, guys, that's not even one full box on what is supposed to be one of the best steels out there. So this little puppy's gonna go in my case and she's not gonna get used very much. I think that's worse. Let's see here, let me turn you around. Sorry guys, I just shot an entire section of video and never hit the record button. What I was saying is that this edge, there's just, it's, it's not sharp. And let's look at it. I didn't even finish, uh, I didn't even finish a box. You guys saw it, I, I stopped. Um, I can see the glint of the edge just completely, it's gone. I, like I said, um, you guys know how sharp my knives are. Here on this knife, that shouldn't, I should not be able to just slide my finger across that like that. And I'm putting pretty good amount of pressure and I'm moving my thumb and it's not even trying to cut me. Look at that. Pretty good amount of pressure. It's not even trying. I would not do that. I'm telling you, I would not have done that with this knife when I first started. I would not have done it. Abs nope. Fuck no, that's going to cut me. Doing the same thing. Oh, that's going to cut me and putting pressure on it. I can feel it biting. Yep, look guys. Same amount of pressure. Look at that. Let's see. Can I get it back where you can see it? It's it. Hang on, I'll show you. That's the difference. That's what the DOC did with way less pressure. It started to bite in and cut. Now, am I saying ZDP's uh, is a bad steel? No, because I definitely have handled some good ZDP 189. Is Spider Coast ZDP any good? Not in my opinion. Not saying that, like, I know the, like, up here. Oh, that, I, no, absolutely not. That will cut you. Right here? Nothing. Nothing. I'm rubbing my finger on it. Didn't even try to cut. You can see there's a line where I was putting pressure on it, but it didn't cut. Yeah. 
disappointment. That's what the D stands for, disappointment. Z something, disappointment, plural. <laughs> Disappointments, 189. <sighs> Guys, not saying you can't like ZDP 189, I'm just saying for me, it's not, not the Spyderco ZDP 189. Because like I said, I've had ZDP 189 come up and I've done it before and it came out great. But I don't know how it held after. And I've had Rocksteads in, but I never did any heavy cutting because somebody's thousand dollar knife that was in just for review, I wasn't gonna cut with it. So anyway, yeah, in my opinion, ZDP 189 doesn't make the cut. It is, the hype is not backed up in this knife. Guys, I'm doing the post edit on this quick. Um, I know I said it was gonna be a running thing, but having it go that dull that quick kind of backs up what I was seeing on the job site. I'm not saying that like, like I like the Spyderco Enduras and I'm not going to lie to you that thing when I first sharpen it, it is screaming sharp. I just don't feel, hang on a second, man, I'm going to set you on here like this as a thing. So I'm actually doing the edit. You, I'm using my laptop screen as a phone holder. Um, yeah, it's just not backing it up. I don't want you guys to think that like, I, I'm not doing steel testing like the guys are with the sisal rope and things. I just want to see if it holds an edge um, and is like, I noticed that I cut down super thin, like it was a super thin box and I noticed that I had that issue. Um, I'm going to probably sharpen it a couple times. I'll probably do a part two of this where I'm going to see how much wood I can cut on a two by four. Um, it's, you know, I started this I started this earlier today. Actually, I started this yesterday. I shot that yesterday um, evening towards the end of the day. And then um, now I'm editing this morning. I'm going to take a shower and then I have to shoot a couple other videos. But I just, I was just cutting up a box. I was like, wow, that shouldn't happen. So I would be more inclined to say there's not an issue with the steel. Um, I don't think it's an issue with contaminants in the steel. I've heard other people say, oh, there's all these other things. What I, what I saw on, on, on those metallurgy sheets that they, the testing they had done looked to me more like trace elements that you would find um, getting in. Um, you know, you have, the, you have your isolation gases that you use that can dissolve in. You can get stuff that winds up in small amounts in dilution in any steel. Um, they're trace amounts. So the amount of zinc and things like that that I saw on Outpost 76's page I don't think would have been enough to really make that much of a difference but hey you never know um but I was seeing very very small trace amounts so I will do this will be like a chronicle we'll go back and we'll test it on wood and things like that I may shoot some of that later today if I get bored uh but yeah guys I just I'm real disappointed in a steel I've always wanted ZDP 189 I got it as a gift I can't complain I got it for free it's still a nice gift am I still gonna have it and keep it yeah I mean, you just have to sharpen it a lot. Um, could still be that there might have been an issue with the grind. I've resharpened that a few times. I think that by now I would have gotten into clean steel. But, you know, we'll just keep doing it and see. But, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm not saying ZDP-189 is not a good steel. I've seen so many knives in it that are well done. I just personally think that that Spyderco ZDP-189, one, they didn't take it to its capabilities. I was looking. I think they're running it close to, like, 60 where a lot of places are running at like like six closer to 64. Um, I think that that is part of it. I would I would be inclined to say that that is one of those deals that a good heat treat or an improper heat treat is going to show real readily. So yeah, just keep your eyes open. I'll just keep messing around with it. I'm gonna videotape me cutting some wood with it. I don't foresee me using it or carrying it for a while. I'm really disappointed in it. I, I was hoping that that new edge angle and 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 sharpening in a different fashion was going to improve it, but it did not. So not to make this video any longer than it already is, I just thought that I would throw that out there. So guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. There's gonna be stuff in the corners. Down here is going to be a link to my Patreon, but I would prefer you use the channel link. I'm gonna see if I can make an actual channel join button there and see if I can do that link. I don't know if it'll let me. Down here is going to be another channel. Haven't decided who yet. And up here in the corners, one will be a video that YouTube thinks you like, and the other one's going to be a subscription link to my channel. So as I said all the time in every video, I love you guys. You guys make this worth it. 
it's a lot of fun. This is a long video, I apologize. It is a long video, but you know, kind of had to do it that way. Take it easy, take care of yourselves, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.